Okay, before we learn how to create a form, I'd like to take a look at a finished form um, and a finished quiz so that you can see what both of them would look like and see what it would look like in the edit mode and also if I were a user filling out a form. So we've got several things happening down here and uh, let's take a look. First thing that we'll take a look at is uh, this Aramar Teams feedback form. Aramar Teams feedback form. So I'm just gonna click on this form. And it's gonna go ahead and open up. And it's gonna open up for me in edit mode. Now in edit mode, we'll go through all the different tools and things like that as we learn how to create a form. But in edit mode, if I scroll through here, I can see that I've got, and it's talking to me about being able to share so I can collect responses. We'll learn about that later. Um, but I see several things here. I see I've got some imagery up here. I see I've got a couple of sections, all right, uh, happening here. I got section one, where it's asking for prior team's experience here. I got section two with some other stuff happening down here, right? Um, and I see, because I'm in edit mode, I see the option to be able to add in new questions and all that kind of thing, okay? Um, now, the cool thing about this is right here in our edit mode, you also are gonna see the ability to view all your responses. So I notice there is a responses tab up here. And if I click on responses, I can see Responses, now we'll learn all about this area and using the analytics and things like that in another video. But just a quick overview, I can quickly look and see the number of responses for each question. Um, and it's gonna give me some graphical information for where I have multiple choices or uh, other things like that. Latest responses here, some text responses here. Uh, so all these things are happening right in here. So that's really, really cool. Again, forms being a very simple, form creation area, everything is in one place, right? I can view my responses and edit my questions and everything right from this one area. Now let's take a look at what this would look like if I were an end user filling this form out. I'm gonna do that by clicking on the preview button, which is up here in the upper right hand corner, preview. All right, so here we can see some interesting things that we're gonna learn about. So first of all, I have a required question. Have you had prior experience with Microsoft Teams? If I say yes here, you'll notice that another question immediately pops up asking me to describe that experience. If I say no, or if I say what is Teams, that question does not pop up at all. This is an example of what we would call branching, right? This is an example of what we would call branching. All right, and branching is where I can have logic going on depending on how people respond to my questions, right? So if there are questions that wouldn't apply to certain individuals based on answers they've given, I can skip those questions, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and say yes here, and I'm gonna go ahead and describe my experience. I used Teams at my former job. Next. All right, so I have some other questions. When was my last time logging into Teams? I can put my date here. I see I've got a rating experience here. Teams is six stars, we love Teams. Please enter any questions or general improvement feedback here. Um, more of Teams. You cannot get enough of Teams, folks. And then I'm able to submit, submit. All right, and there we go. Um, I've already responded to this form, so it's not gonna let me do it again. But that's what it would look like as a end user. All right, let's go back and let's go back to forms. Let's take a look at a quiz. Here's an assessment. So same thing, right, except you can see here that I've got questions and you can see some check marks here where I have indicated what the correct responses are. If I preview this, let's take a look. Let's go ahead and answer. I see that some questions have points next to them. Microsoft Teams is um, our new antivirus solution, right? Let's go ahead and put that in there. You can run meetings in Teams. I can do that. All chat in Teams is private. Yeah, I think so. It's not. Uh, submit. All right, again, I've already responded to this, so it's not gonna let me respond to it again. Um, 
But let's go back here and let's view the responses view. Right, I can see where questions were correct, how many questions are wrong, and all those different kinds of things. I can see an average score. So the, the environment is very similar to that of a feedback form. However, it gives us some additional functionality there as we're able to specify things that are correct and things that are not. Okay, so this is forms. Very easy, very modular in nature easy to create, easy to fill out, easy to understand. We're gonna start learning how to create forms and quizzes in another video.